Above normal temps will continue a bit longer. Chief Meteorologist Joe Diaz has a forecast. Oh, yes. Uh, this is a very warm week we're experiencing. We're going to have it a bit longer. There will be some times where it uh, bumps down a few degrees, but wow, we're in a warm trend. Breezy, dry, and warm. That's what we're going to see across much of the state for tomorrow. Then a very brief cool down over uh, parts of the state as we get into Thursday. But weekend warmth, good time to get outside. And then as we get into early next week, those uh, spring winds are going to try to crank up again. So warmer conditions over here right now with the uh, clear blue sky. But along the dry line, you see all these storms erupting. So a severe weather outbreak, especially as you get on into the central plains. But we have the dry air overtaking us. Now tomorrow, breezy to windy conditions. It will be warm throughout much of the area with that high fire danger that I'll be showing you. And then as uh, some cooler air starts to slip into the region, winds will come down a little bit and temperatures will come down a little bit. But it's still going to be very comfortable. Here's a look at 7 o'clock in the morning. You're planning for Albuquerque. Uh, yeah, get outside. You might need to layer up a little little bit, but boy, you can drop those layers as you get into the afternoon. We'll see a breezy conditions, lots of sunshine and temperatures well above average 82 degrees. Now statewide you see 30s, 40s and 50s, but as we go to the noon hour, look at that warmth starting to take over 88 degrees at noon throughout Roswell on to Carlsbad. Then they get back into the 90s. We'll see 72 over at Tau, 75 in Raton. So warm weather there. Uh, the wind gusts, these brighter shades uh, show you the winds gusting over 30 miles an hour in many many areas, these are dry winds, so as a result, you don't want to do any outdoor burning because if a fire got going, it could quickly spread. That's for tomorrow. And then a slight lowering of temperatures across the area, but still quite mild, 70s and 80s throughout much of New Mexico. So as we check out the Four Corners region forecast, oh, realize by uh, Friday morning, uh, there was a shot that it would drop down to 32 degrees in Farmington. Now it's looking a little less likely for that freeze, but you can see the temperature coming down and then temperature is starting to bounce back up before stronger winds start to kick in by Sunday afternoon and again on into Monday. Southwest will be in the hot 80s and that will continue through the next several days. You'll see uh, temperatures in the 70s throughout Silver City with increasing winds by Sunday afternoon. Southeast will see hot conditions in the area. 75 though over in in Ruidoso, 85 Alamogordo and so uh, winds on the increase a bit for tomorrow and then we get into that pattern where it's drier. It's Spot shower, thunderstorm could be working in with some stronger storms around the Texas state line. Sunday and Monday, the winds will be back on the increase. Northern, northeastern parts of New Mexico will be in the 70s, so a good start, but winds will be gusting over 40 miles an hour in Las Vegas tomorrow. Areas of blowing dust, some uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms possible by Saturday with stronger winds Sunday, Monday on into Tuesday. 66 in Chama, but 80 in Española, very warm. Uh, lower to middle 70s for Santa Fe, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we get in to uh, Sunday. The winds come up a little bit, but certainly stronger as we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week. The metro area will have chilly conditions in the morning and above normal temperatures in the afternoon. Look at that, 8 degrees above average, 82. A brief cool down with a little less wind as we go into Thursday and then back into the low 80s for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The winds will be on the increase. It looks like we'll have windy conditions again for Monday on into Tuesday of next week. But as we uh, look at tomorrow, if you like the warm you know, it's a pretty good mm. forecast for you. So great forecast. We yeah. love it. All right, Joe, thanks.